Today's Midday Kentucky Cooking segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. Chef Allison Davis here in the Wild Time Kitchen, of course. And we are with our resident nutritionist and nutrition dietary expert. I don't know what we want to call you, but um, we are focusing this month of November all on the big holiday that is known to add a few LBs. That's right. Um, and we're trying to prevent that from happening this year. Um, so we are doing a traditional Thanksgiving side. That's right. Um, and this is probably, I would say, my favorite, you know, and I am known for gravy, which we could still even talk about how to make a, th a, That's right. a healthy gravy, but we're talking stuffing. You stuffing. can't have Thanksgiving dinner without stuffing. Yeah. I mean, people love their stuffing. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. So this is a really um, healthy take on and traditional stuffing and I know I'm gonna mix this up guys and you're gonna be like you are missing a very important ingredient but it tastes just like stuffing do yeah. you agree yeah I do and I have made a gluten-free stuffing very similar and you know it doesn't have the bread right you could add the bread we were talking about that before we came on camera and if you wanted you could get like a gluten-free bread or cornbread mixture and then like kind of crumble it in but you really don't miss it you, you know really because don't. it's got all the flavors that we've got the celery I see we've got our onions so you know that's a big part of stuffing is Absolutely. those flavors and this is the the thing that I tell my clients is you know when you're going into a meal like Thanksgiving do a little give and take like figure out what's going to be the one you know dish that you don't want to miss and then how can you you know save carbohydrates calories and other dishes so this is going to be a super low carb stuffing option what did you tell me as far as like per serving so the average um serving of stuffing is almost 76 carbohydrates guys this one is three so it's going to save That's you a huge and if you have anybody who's maybe diabetic in your family or you know just the carbs that's right can kill their their whole Absolutely. Day. And I'm all about, like, if you're going to make a modification, you know, I want to make a modification, again, where it tastes well. And this one is really good. The all other right. thing I love about this dish is that it's loaded with veggies. So we've started out, I've already browned up some sausage. Um, and if you wanted to even go with more of that sage flavor, there's a sage, like, breakfast sausage, yes, right, you could use. Yes, right? yes. Okay. So um, brown that up. We're going to add a ton of really finely diced um, celery. And I think that that's the key to getting that kind of stuffing consistency. The and crunch. these are raw. These have not these been sauteed. These are all sauteed. raw. Absolutely. Yep. Um, we're going to add some really finely diced um, onions, and then we're going to add a bunch of mushrooms. And bunch the mushrooms, of mushrooms are really going to take that place of the um, bread. The bread. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's going to give you kind of that texture and that kind of taste with of the bread. So we're going to mix that all together, and then we're going to add all of our spices. So we've got just some melted butter oh, um, yes. that we're going to add in there. We can there. still have butter, guys. You know, That's right. it's not. It's gonna taste great. It's it gonna smells taste really already good. just like yeah. Thanksgiving. I mean, really. We've got tons of spices. Sage, lots and lots of sage. Lots right? of sage. Mm -hmm. That's right. And then we got some thyme that we're gonna add in there. And um, could you go with the fresh? I guess if you wanted to just oh, like top up your fresh herbs. Absolutely. You know, you if you've got extra lying in there. around, throw in your fresh herbs, salt, pepper. For sure. Right? Yep. Mix that all up. And then this is going to go into um, a casserole dish. The nice thing about this dish is in addition is that you can make it kind of ahead of time just stick it in your refrigerator and then when you're ready to um, cook it up it's ready to go it's ready That's to go fantastic all right, well, Amanda, um, a little bit about your program while we're getting this in there. Yeah. Amanda does a program called Lean, which is it a seven week? Is yeah, that right? it's a seven week program. We really focus on you know whole food nutrition, um, sound nutritional strategies that kind of help you you know stay on track um, with your weight loss. And yeah, this is the best time to consider. Really, guys, if I can't stress it enough, I've done this before this time of year, and it's a great way to go into the holidays because it just gets you prepped in order to know how to you know, curb manage. those cravings, yeah. manage those holidays, keep your nutrition intact. Um, and at the same time, I lost weight from November to Christmas, and hey. that's unheard of. That's a huge So, plus. yeah, so yeah. if you want to go and find out more information about her program, Lean, um, you can go to amandanibert.com, right? right? And you've got one coming up, which yeah. is, again, perfect time. And then you can find this recipe, of course, at wtvq.com forward slash recipes tab, and click on that, learn a little bit about it, um, make it for your friends, make it for your loved ones for Thanksgiving, and we will be right back after this short break. You're watching Midday Kentucky.